audio or video may contain explicit language or extreme views. Discretion is advised. Pain Train Productions presents Pain Train Pipe Bomb. Starring Melissa Mitro. Karasu B. Muhammad. Amarice Nisi Gonzalez. And Ricky Litwinkowicz. This is currently airing on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Blackjack TV, MileHighRadio.com, and IPMNation.com, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Need quality merchandise at great prices? Visit paintrainpipebomb.threadless.com and check out all show merchandise. This show is produced out of the dungeon in Brooklyn, New York. Produced and edited by Ricky Litwinkowicz and Chris Rex. Enjoy the show. Melissa doing a couple's costume. <laughs> yeah, say that just as we go live on. I know, I know, right? <laughs> just as we go live on the air. Welcome oh, to Pain Trade Pipe Bomb, the Halloween <laughs> edition. <laughs> and uh, yes, we are a few minutes late because of uh, makeup issues. And it just what wasn't, it it me. wasn't Melissa's either. I can only work so fast. It wasn't me either. We are a little echoey. I oh. think it's the headphones. Okay. So I, I'll I could probably try and double check on my phone, but oh, a second. Oh, shit. I think it's our I think it's our headphones. Okay. And the fact that the uh, weather here in New York is fucking terrible. It's fucking forty something degrees and rainy. Utterly shitty because the um the fucking OBS going bananas. Obvious. <laughs> Oh, shit. So well, it was kind of cold here today, like seventy-seven degrees. Oh, <laughs> shut what up! Fuck is that? That's not cold. What the hell? It was just seventy-seven only here. We had to turn the heat on. <laughs> I know, right? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's cold. I'm up to two blankets now. Oh my so, god, man! So if uh, if you're currently watching the show, oh god, uh, there are be- there are bats coming out of my belfry at you uh, rapidly. And then uh, top that all oh, off with uh, this lovely background that we got going on here. It's kind of crazy. You actually saying the bats come out to your belfry. I'm like, I'm like, did you fart? Well, I, I, as I was doing all of this last night, as you can see, all the name plates change. They all say "Happy Halloween" on them. Yes. Yeah, I, I like you. It. it looks nice. Uh, the uh, the bats, I. I actually manufactured that myself this morning, ah. along with that uh, awesome intro that we had going on there, um, with all the pumpkins, the the fog on the bottom, all the new graphic. Uh, that was all done this morning, and uh, you know, Halloween is Saturday, and here in New York, we are supposed to be uh, having some shit weather. Yeah. So. I knew that at some point uh, that that's going to fucking go off because I shared it like 80 times. And I still haven't shared it to the pages yet. But it just so happens to be that uh, we're celebrating Halloween tonight. God knows what the worldwide bastard's going to bring for fucking Saturday because uh, a lot of people are uh, haughty toady about having their little rugrats run around the neighborhood getting candy. What's up, Sorry. Ed? So, uh... You know, there's a lot of fucking weird shit going on, and uh, we're on the verge of the end of that new Zenith or Zeta or whatever fucking storm blowing through the United States. So, yeah. What's up, Lars? So if it somehow miraculously gets fucked up, you know, shit happens. Hey, Lars. I am surprised Lars is still awake. (laughs) I really am your shocked. beautiful face. He is still awake. What's going on? So, going around the uh, square here, or rectangle, or whatever the hell you want to call it, 
Uh, we have Karasu wearing his Tengu mask. Boring. You need to fa- like you need to paint your face. Well, that's partially my fault because as I thought about my face paint, which I am doing tribute to the fallen road warrior animal uh, from Legion of Doom, etc., the road warriors. Oh, it's um, the Hulk, man. And I, I got the head for it, too. I got the bull, eh? I, I could have actually extended out to have him be the other half of the tag team. And I would have did uh, Me being the powerhouse, probably. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even doing that. I can't fit it in the box. I'm not spread out enough. You can't fit um, it in the box? Use lube. <laughs> well, no, I just have a very small frame for my camera. Uh, Misi, what are you uh, technically? I'm a glitzed out skull. Skull can, girl. Uh, you're, you're, uh, I wanted it skull? to be as glitzy as kind of, kind of, and a zombie. I don't I'm know. Like an ice princess. Just something. Just something. I can't see shit. I don't even know what Melissa is because I can't see through these eyes. I am a broken doll. You are? I am. I crashed. I'm going to have to look, take a good look at it. Yeah, she lives at the Hardy Club. And this is going to be amusing because right after we leave here, I have to go deliver cookies to one of my customers. (laughs) <laughs> and, I'm gonna, so, and I'm driving with the makeup He's on. driving with that on, and I have to get out of the car and walk up to this lady's house with this face full of makeup. So cookie. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Of course she will. <laughs> you know? That looks nice. I know. I was driving I was driving down the... I had to pick up a kid from a school line, and I had just the this part done. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> they were all looking at me. Even he, when he opened the door, he's like... What the heck, Auntie? He goes, are you, are you trick-or-treating? Oh, my God. That's crazy. I said, I don't know. Do you have candy? <laughs> <laughs> but I think I set a world makeup uh, record pace record. for tonight. Because uh, what time did I get here? Five, five to seven? To five to seven. It was like five to seven. So in, in 35 minutes, I did mine okay. and his. Yeah. All right, so and his looks pretty friggin' good for the fifteen minutes that I had to do it. I don't even want to tell you what time I started doing this. If everybody does what Stephen Waldman did in the chat, because apparently now there is something really, really tremendously fucked up with Facebook, and I'm still fucking, I'm still yelling and screaming at them. I sent them another dirty message today, but if you put exclamation point. Notify. notify in the chat right now. Uh, you will automatically get notified anytime Pipe Bomb's stuff comes up. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. So just make sure you put exclamation point notify in the chat. Um, underneath it, you will get a a little thing that says you'll be notified when Pain Train Pipe Bomb goes live. Yes. Okay. So. What's up, Lara? Uh, oh, so, uh, yes. Oh, 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 wait, hold on here. Wait, hold on. I still got zombie Skittles <laughs> for you, Carol. I have two minutes of... Oh, shit. ...of my child and her friend with eating the zombie Skittles. So I, I, I know I told Misi, but... Um, they only got one Skittle each. One bad Skittle each. So they went through the whole pack, both of them... And then had to eat one Skittle. Like, how did I get four? And Ricky got three. And these two little bastards only got one. I don't understand. These two little bastards. <laughs> like, I don't get it. They ate the whole freaking thing. Literally, my daughter was down to her last two before she got the one that she got. <laughs> Terrible. And her friend, her friend Aiden, was sitting next to her. And he got through his whole pack. And then he goes, ooh, this one tastes like sour milk. And just finishes chewing the thing and swallows it. And I'm like... This was no fun for the two of you. Of course like, not. I had no fun watching them whatsoever because I really thought that one of them was going to vomit and it didn't happen. I mean, listen, you know, that's that's a Generation Z. You know, they're, they're not really, you know, they're, they're not like us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we actually, you know, get the thrill out of that because, you know, we laugh, stuff like that. They don't care. They, they, well, they're like, well, Aiden oh. actually said that he had done that bean boozled thing so many times oh. that um, he was, oh. like, immune to bad 
tasting, you know, whatever it was. Gotcha, gotcha. So, um, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I see. Well, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, eh. No, 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 no. And yes, I'm Rami, the Italian job. I could watch that movie a thousand times. Yeah. I love that movie. So, before we see Lars, Lars did it and it came up. And it came up. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Lynn says, I just got that without doing anything. Came up gray. Okay. Um, I don't know. This audio probably is going to be all fucked up, and I might have said anything out this week. Who knows? Um, does it sound Does it sound echoey? Um, I am getting the fucking colors of the rainbow down at the bottom, so I don't. it keeps freezing. Yeah, it's a little freezy. Um, you got Skittles down there? Oh, oh, of course you got Skittles, the zombie one. Duh. I mean, <laughs> I just thought about it. No, but the uh, apparently the uh, the weather Word, is Carol. fucking the weather is fucking around with the entire stream. So, Word, Carol, that's right. This generation will never get the thrill of checking your candy for yo. That is so true. I have never checked my candy for mar- marijuana, <laughs> but I have checked it for sewing needles and razor blades. But if you find some with marijuana, I will totally take. I have never. I don't think I. That was even. I don't even think that was a thought when I was little. They oh were talking God. about people putting sewing I'm needles in. I'm telling you in. this right now, as a medical marijuana patient, they are not giving away their freaking medicine. <laughs> I'm just telling you straight up. So that's it. It costs too much to give away. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say that. It actually costs like too much to give away. So before uh, before we go any further, and I definitely want to get back onto that topic that me and Rami were talking about last night while we were on the gaming about the uh never paid ten bucks for a rice krispie treat. No. <laughs> uh we were talking have... about the, the Italian job last yes. night on the gaming thing. But before that, uh this is a little bit of some of the experiences that we had yesterday. At Spirit Halloween. Oh, I sent you the um, pictures. That's what I was, I did. So I, uh, I I have some video footage, and then we'll have some uh, photo footage. But uh, uh, here's the uh, first thing from uh, Spirit Halloween yesterday. Nice. That's cool. Hell yeah. Can you so, imagine, that shit? imagine that shit in front of your doorstep. So we were we were le- legit fucking around at fucking Spirit Halloween yesterday because the first thing we got, and then was, was the makeup, and then we were walking around the store. But let me tell you, this little fucking thing here, man. If I had this somehow, like in front of my house, I'd be great. But, yeah, it's creepy. I mean, that was yeah, that was really cool. Creepy. But hell yeah, the next piece though. I do have some general commentary on Yes. Because okay. I tried to not say anything about it, and he said what I was thinking. All right. So this is the next piece. All right. And uh, my, my, my video recording was not great. My photography was not great. But bear with me. Look at me. Just as no. all the others have. It was holding up again. Know that I have you. Your soul will be mine That's kind of crazy. All right, so my initial thought. <laughs> I thought this was this was kind of cool because of the fact that the way that it was, it was the Grim Reaper holding the kid or whatever. Um, but but the initial positioning, yeah, 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 it, exactly. Like, of the, the child, hi, mama. It looks like it's getting, like it's getting head. Like, that's exactly that's what I said. What we thought. That, that's, I was that's like, what this, this is the yeah. perfect pornographic Halloween thing in the store. So it'd have been cool, but see, the problem with that is it's a child. Yes. And that's like, you know, that's like, yo, that's like, hold on, wait a minute. That's that's kind of, yes. you know, um, ped- pedophilia. That's kind of pedophilia. But it looked like the guy was like, ha ha, bitch, now I've got your soul. Give me head. Actually, but there was, I- there was a lot of those motion things yesterday. We could have gone through a lot of those things. They had the swinging kid on the other side that we didn't get to. There was oh. a little girl that sat on a tombstone, her head like spun around. There was a lot of cool things. A lot of cool things. All right. Now, where did you put the pictures? I sent them to the Pipe Bomb page. Okay. They're on the Pipe Bomb page. Right? Yes. Pipe Bomb page. All pipe six bomb of page. them. So, 
I, I'm telling you, we really did have quite a lot of fun for the, you know, the time that we were there. However, though, here's the kicker. There was a fucking long ass line at Spirit Halloween yesterday. Oh my god, we waited a half hour just oh, to yeah. get in. Yeah, it's always like that. All right, I think especially I just the last week, all, but... all the you're like all the pro- oh, no, procrastinators are showing up. Yeah, um, I I I think I just wasn't prepared for that. Like I thought we were going to get out of the car. <laughs> you had to start with mine. <laughs> So, I mean, overall, um, though, like... This was what initially I wanted to wear today. All right, if, hold on. Let me get when you it, see it, you're just going to laugh. And, um... Oh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted to wear, but then I didn't think I could get my headphones over it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cute. It's giant. Like, like... Giant. It was like a foot and a half tall. Damn. And big. Like I, I but then again, and I'm thinking like you would never have been able to hear me. I mean, I, I know the I gotta eye think. holes for that were like you see where that stripe is down the center. Yeah. My eyes were on each side of that. <gasps> you know, I, I don't even think something like this. That's a that's a that's a big head. That, that's that how, exactly is one huge fucking head. That's how big it was. And Ricky turns around to walk away from me, and I was like, "Hey, hon, you think I can wear this tomorrow night?" And he's like, "Jesus Christ, what is that on your face?" It's pretty though. It was. I bet very you it pretty. cost like three hundred dollars. No, no, it was it's, legit like a flat. It's mask. flat. Like it's it's flat. Like it's made out of foam. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It right, looks so, like a mascot mask. It doesn't go over it your does. head. It's ju- it's got two straps that go around the back. <gasps> so some of the other photos that we took yesterday at the uh, store. Oh my! Oh Ricky, my God. Ricky is a hat guy. I, I I had to try on like five I, different hats. I'd like to make that known before we start this. To be, yeah. Before we start the role of Ricky, yeah, he's um, a hat guy. he is a hat guy. <laughs> He is a hat guy. Like yeah, he will try oh, on. He's not wearing a hat I right probably now, have over the course of eight years about a hundred pictures of you in different hats. Oh yeah, easy. Like he puts them on everywhere we go. So these, this was the pirate hat. This was going to supposed to go with the pirate costume that we wound up not. It looks wearing. like an Undertaker. It looks like the Undertaker hat. It was giant. Like the brim of it was yeah, huge. Like it, it, it was just. I, I like. I'll, I'll it put was it this huge. way. If it had those little dangly things on the thing, I probably would look like the perfect like uh, Mexican guitar player. You know what Which I'm one? talking about? Mariachi. Yeah, mariachi. I mean, that would be. It was, mariachi. But that thing was freaking like. I'm not even joking. It was like maybe six or seven inches away from my head. That's how big the brim of that thing was. And I'm like, damn, there's no way I could have fucking pulled this off. Yeah, no. There- oh, D Relly's in the house. What's up, D? Me Oops. and the alien dude. Oh, yes. Thanks, so there, Mom. There was a guy walking around yesterday that worked in the store. And uh, he was the guy with the alien strapped to his back. So uh, Ricky's like, can I take a picture with you, dude? The guy's like, sure. So that's what I did. I got fucking like 50 notifications. Yeah, I know. Now. I have a bunch too. All right. So, uh, yeah, I did walk around wearing the. There uh, was a giant chicken outside, I might add, when we first got there. But by the time we got to the front of the line, he was gone. Yeah, he was gone. Uh, wait, 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 wait. How did the chicken get away, man? I think Colonel somebody Sanders actually bought the chicken. He was Colonel giant. Like, him. it was like a 10 foot tall chicken. I would have chased his ass with some hot sauce. Fuck so, I was, I was trying on all the cowboy hats in the, sh- in the store. And uh, the ghost, the ghost cowboy from the crow, <laughs> the fucking red one. I thought was actually kind of cool. It was like a, like a little like bit of an Australian. Beard I wish I on. could see that. <laughs> I can send them to you. Oh, this I can't see shit. <laughs> this was the- I always really wanted to wear a top hat. Yo, Rick, Rick, yo, real top. <laughs> that shit fits you with that, with that, uh, with, with, with the mask guy. Yeah, it right? does. It that totally does. That I know. I can see that. And the funny thing thing was is that it, it's it's a kind of a funny story that I let's see. What? Who went to get laid? I don't know what the where the fuck that even came from. All right, this is Melissa's uh Are you talking about are you talking about the chicken? He went to get laid. Yes. Oh stupid. Yes. <laughs> I got it. 
Um, this is, you know how I've been telling a joke of the week every week? Yes. Um, this is my joke of the week. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. It says, I don't know what crime he committed, but he should have heard the police coming. Oh, yeah. That's Did you, funny. <laughs> Do you see how big his is fucking ears word, are? Word. For real. <laughs> Poor dude. Just defective. Poor dude. He's, oh he's my god! It was as soon as I jail, saw this picture, I was like, "Hold on to his ears." As soon as I saw it, I'm like, "That dude's in jail with those ears." The funny, god damn. the funny thing is, is that there was not one bad costume in the store yesterday. No, no. And even for it being like legitimately at that time, like three days before Halloween, yeah. Like the store was still full. Yeah, like there was still a, a great assortment of 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 costumes, t shirts, hats, props. Like you name it. I mean, even the makeup. The makeup usually goes really, really fast, and it didn't. Yeah, we. Found I was very we shocked yesterday. at that. So you know, like Halloween for me, like has always been. If I'm not getting dressed up, I'm doing like I'm doing now. I'm putting face makeup on. And when I drive, I just scare the shit out of people, like I did two years ago, uh, where I did half-faced, and I left my plain part of my face on the driver's side. I remember window. that. I remember that. I remember and that. And then when I went to go turn to look at the person yep. in the car next to me, and I made sure that I did that, it's not like I was just like, oh, I'm just going to look. No, I purposely looked to scare the <laughs> shit out of people driving next to me, but... Like, Halloween to me, like, it's always been, like, the best holiday for me to really, like, kind of express myself a little bit. You can hide in, in, within all the weirdos? For real. Hide? <laughs> I'm to the forefront. <laughs> what, are you kidding? I went bowling two years oh, ago with yes. my face makeup on, Yeah, right? we went bowling with makeup on. And people that were bowling on the left of me didn't know that I was wearing the face paint until I went to turn around to go back. And they were like, holy shit. And they kept forgetting that the fucking face paint was only on one side. I, get, I, I have to look through my things for pictures of that night because there's a picture of you and Fior. You have a half face and Fior, well, I don't know if she had something on. I'm trying to remember what she was. Something tight. Probably. But uh, no, it really wasn't. I don't think it was. But like, I, 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 I'll, I'll put it this way. If even I'm sitting outside, like, like Saturday, I will be sitting outside. I don't care how fucking cold it is. I like watching the little fucking rug rats and gorillas and whatever fucking run around and fucking do whatever they got to do in their sweet little costumes and give out candy. I don't care. I'll sit out there with the biggest fucking bubba mug of coffee and I'll sit outside and enjoy myself the whole day. I have no issue with it. I like Halloween. I like being outside giving out the candy every year. In fact, there was, in fact, was it two or three years ago when we first did the, the whole Halloween thing? I was giving out candy right before the show. Like, I had set up the show, like, two days prior. I'm like, yep, fuck I this. remember that. I am I sitting that. outside handing out candy. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mom. So, Halloween, fucking great. I love Halloween. Me too. Love Halloween. Dude, there were some really cool uh, t-shirts that I didn't really upload. But I did forget about it. Um, so, I'll get those up eventually. Gold and we bastard. do have um, some Halloween articles, believe it or not. How do I scratch if I got fucking paid? Um, that's what's going on with my face right now because the little tiny bit that I put on just to lighten my face is now drying. And it's it's itchy. It's driving me bananas. So I'm really trying not to concentrate on it. You have no idea how itchy my face is right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Misi, you know what? I, I was trying to channel you before the show started because it the kit that I bought for the the doll face had fake lashes in it. And oh. um I was going to attempt to put them on and it's so easy. Yeah, no, not for me. I am not a girl. You have to understand. I don't either, bro. You have to understand. I, am not I grew up like, with boys. Like and I didn't even start wearing makeup really in besides mascara and eyeliner. Like I lipstick. Like on the show, photo, I'll but... put on lipstick every once in a while, maybe a little bit of eyeliner. But that's kind of as far as I go. Like in real life. Oh, the makeup I do now, I barely started doing that within the last two years. It's not like I've always been. Real if you talk. look back at pictures before that, I'm not as makeup up. 
Like my daughter. I don't know where my daughter came from. She's definitely not mine. She never leaves the house without makeup on. Everything looks beautiful. Um, oh, shit. You should see me. I'll run to the store in my yeah, no. pajamas. No bra. I don't care. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Me too. No bra. You don't wear a bra? Damn right. I don't wear no bra. No, he wears a bro. <laughs> That's right. I wear a bro. <laughs> <laughs> He wears a this bro. Actually, actually, I tried doing this look three years ago at my Halloween party, and I actually paid somebody to do it. And I got to tell you, what I did today is way better than what I paid somebody to do three years ago. All right, well, it looks some, nice. So, I, I, some, I, some I like it. Yeah, it looks nice. Paint, I oh, I was going to tell you, Melissa, I actually had two sets of lashes on. Well, it came I'm, this this came with two sets and I did attempt to put one on, but then I glued it to my eyelid. And then I had to it goes un- to the eyelid. No, no. Like to the top I'm of my about- eyelid. Oh. So then because again, I I don't know how to do these things. So and plus we were trying to do it did fast. Like I think it? if if I had a little more time, I probably would have been able to put them on. You should have just called me. I could have given you pointers. They're not as hard as people think they are. I was the same way. I told my friend I see. I for a while had extensions, and I started getting extensions. It's how expensive, like a yeah. hundred bucks every few weeks. Well, <laughs> when I was making money, I could do that, but then I quit doing them because they would fall out. Right, right. And um, it started ruining lashes. So my lashes aren't as thick as I would hope them to be. So because of that, my friend's like, well, do lashes. I was like, hell no. And then so she bought me lashes. She's just practiced. She goes, you have to wait till the glue. You got to blow it and wait till it's all just about dry. And then you stick it. Well, yeah, I don't I know. I've never too. done this before. So. Blow it and stick it, she says. And then I had Blow to, and I it. and you know, and like we were on a time schedule, so yeah. <laughs> it was like this well, is not going to work. One's not going to work. Rip it off. Well, one day we can just video chat, and not, we can. I'll talk you through it. Okay. The right glue matters too. I know. Yeah, this was Halloween glue. It came with the. It came with the mm-hmm. lashes. That shit ain't gonna work. Yeah, it's not as good. It would have worked for the the five seconds. But, Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah. What the hell just happened? The fucking chat. I don't know. I can't see. Yeah, the chat went crazy too. Yeah. Holy crap. Crazy. That shit went. I haven't seen anything since my mom's. It's not scrolled anything since my mom's. Nobody issues. said anything. No, Steven, Steven just wrote something. What Steven is the college? Is trying, Steven is trying to figure out ways to get the uh, the flow of things done to the page. Like, Got okay, you. like, for some reason, again, like we have streamed so much in the last <laughs> like three weeks. And, uh, like, apparently the signal that we do through um, OBS or Streamlabs is Obvious. not going to Facebook. Obvious. So, we're trying to fucking figure out all of these different things to, A, get the stars back and all this other shit. Yeah, no, there ain't no stars, man. It's just, what's up, Red? And meanwhile, we have... What's if up, you, Red? If, if you go to our page and you count up all of the hours that we have streamed... And had viewers and everything else. Like now on my phone, it says there's 12 people watching, right? Hey, Brad. If I go on, if I, I go on the creator studio, it doesn't say that we have anybody watching. It doesn't say anything is fucking there. Nothing. Nah, Lynn. No, nothing. No. nothing. No, but if anybody wants to donate to the show, we'll post Ricky's PayPal. We could post the PayPal or we're going to end up doing a... Um, Whatchamacallit? A Patreon? A Patreon. And I hate Patreon because fucking first off, their colors suck. And they don't <laughs> give you really your They don't give factor. you all of the money either. Like if somebody they keep a donates percentage 10, of it, don't they? Yeah, they take they take like fucking, I think it's like ten percent of it. So somebody yeah. donates five dollars, you only get like four fifty out of it or yeah. whatever. Like it's fucking yeah. retarded. Bastards. They're fucking stupid. But then again, you know, shit happens and life goes on. Yeah. So. Well, so what kind of articles we have tonight for Halloween? All right. First things first. I saw this lovely little new cap, this this new device, right? This is where some of the white guy anger begins. Wearing the animal face paint, by the way. No, white guy, white guy Halloween anger. Um, it's not exactly Halloween yet. Shut up, it's still Halloween regardless. All right, I have to get my PayPal. I feel like it's Halloween. 
Yes. Hold on. I got to get the PayPal thing on here because. Lynn said do PayPal. Well, I'm going to put the oh, PayPal um, link. Janet, Janet said um, do a GoFundMe. No, no, I'm not doing GoFundMe because a lot of people have been fucking hacking GoFundMe. Really? Wow. Yes. But you know what? That, that, that's uh, predictable. I figured that should seem like that was going to happen. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. But GoFundMe is a little weird, too. Because it only I has... Think they keep a portion, too, don't they? Well, they do. They take a portion out, too. But a GoFundMe, like, doesn't it only stay up for so long? Bad bastard. GoFundMe? Uh, yeah. So I think, like, once it expires, it expires. Like, you know, with the stars and stuff. Tony, what's up? You know. Bad bastard. All right, I'm going to pin this. And then there's the option to send money. You fat bastard. You fat bastard. I think that's how you do it. You fat bastard. I hope so. You fat bastard. I don't know why now the comment. I got to make this fucking thing smaller. Because then you can't see the. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you think you can't see the. I want to itch my whole face. Oh my God, it's driving me bananas. And I'm trying not to scratch. Like, I almost <laughs> want to smack my own face. Yo, yo Janice, uh, a.k.a. Go Fuck Me. LOL. What's <laughs> up, Becky? What's up, Becky? We should have had Becky, Becky dress up tonight. I am. Um, I am. Um, yeah, I want to smack. I want to smack my own face. All right, so the Hi, first. I can't believe I'm fucking doing this one. What? The first item on our list tonight. Is this lovely little... Um, <laughs> I love this. It reminds me of like a movie prop. All right, I got to figure out how to get this. All right. It won't go Viagra. Okay, wait. There it goes. Uh, Thanks, Becky. It's weird. It, it is ultimately weird. And I'm going to show... Page you. And pipe bomb. Can... What's not weird? Um, first <laughs> off, this fucking thing right here. This hey, Becky. is, uh, wait, are you blonde? Or are you white haired? Oh, this is, this is old lady white hair. It's old. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I do. Tony, <laughs> thank you very I'm much. Tony, thanks a lot, man. This show had a lot hey, of special Tony. effects this week. Thanks, New name Tony. tags, the bats, everything, the whole nine yards. So this lovely device right here. It's supposed to be used for the worldwide mean? bastard. It reminds me of something for like from Alien. Yeah. It is su- or it- like a space movie. I feel like yeah. this is from like that Mars movie. Yeah. <laughs> so Doesn't it? Right. right off the bat with this the lovely little device that's going on here. All right. I'm going to give you a little bit of description. There's two zippers in front of each shoulder for you to stick your hands in. To, like, I guess, sneeze, cough, blow your nose, etc. All right? That's like that's like hazmat suit times 10. Yes. Yes. All right? I'm not showing... But, the, not playing no volume on this because I'm going to talk over this fucking thing. But All no right? joke, I would rather be in that than wear a mask. All right. But see, now here's the thing, okay? The fuck? It goes over your head. Then you strap it underneath into your armpits. Can you imagine fucking with that shit on? Can, the can filters imagine? are in the back, right? That's interesting. Wow. That's mm. dumb. That's in, that's just... I'm sorry, know. but to me... Nah. Like, gonna, I look at that, and I'm like, you know... They get a little too out of hand with this shit now. Oh, wait, it's like, oh. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Stay right there. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. No, okay, no. no. Now, listen, You're looking at this funky device that's on the screen. Listen, okay. listen. They, they get a little too out of hand with this. First, they had that fucking shit right here with the, the, the fucking screen thing. Then with the mask. It's like, you're protecting yourself from what? That's the thing I'm trying to figure out. Like, you, you're sitting up there protecting yourself from, like like I said, what? At the end of the day, you're doing shit like this. You're going to lower your immune system and kill your fucking self. People don't understand that. When you wear these masks and stuff like that, you're, kill, you're killing yourself. There's no oxygen coming out of that. It, it, it'll, it'll come in that. There's no oxygen. It's not much oxygen in that. Well, and you're breathing in carbon dioxide. Yeah, well, that's the same, exactly. the same thing with the regular masks, even if right. you have the filter on it or not. Exactly, but exactly. The My thing is is this, all right? You see the gloves, right? You go, you can stick your hands in, and you can touch your face and do whatever the fuck you want to do. What's up, Joseph? Hey, Joe. What do you do if you sneeze? 
Hey, Joe. And, and it had like a fucking mucus on your shit. Like, think about that. That shit. You and, are gonna fucking spray up the entire inside of that fucking thing. Exactly, right? and and, that, and that's and that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, that shit makes no sense. <laughs> and even and Lynn said it right. You're Don't do it. Your Don't own, do it. Come on, man. <laughs> that shit was crazy. That shit was All right. Oh. If oh, you if you what do you do if you gotta throw up? Exactly. You take it off. You don't have time to unbuckle that shit while you're fucking exactly. yakking. Oh, if you, you need to mind? get something off, you just shove it off your head. Exactly. You'd be taking your arms and your shoulders off if you had to fucking do it with Bro, that thing, all right? I go like this, like your mom said. Just lift up your hands and let them pull it off. Exactly, Carol. You can hot box that fucker easy. Okay? See, see this, this, this is the saying that I always Her, say. Carol. I, 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 always tell, I always tell people this. I'm like, if you basically keep protecting your head, you gonna leave your stomach open and get fucked up, and shit like that will get you fucked up for real. Like you know, it'll you know, you you gonna fuck yourself up with that shit, man. Come on. Like, Thank you, Becky, cool. for the uh, compliments about us uh, all looking great. Thank you, Becky. I mean, I mean, Jared, you can have sex Thanks. in that, but I'm, I'll be honest with you. And those kind of breathing that shit too. Come on, that, yo, your oxygen level will go down. Listen, Janet, all of the good areas are not in that thing. You could still have sex in that suit. How do you? How can you give? You could. In that suit, you you could, but 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 listen, Tina, you could, but see, the problem with that is you'll be sweating it, and also to try to breathe and try to get that heavy, you know, like that fire in. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit. You know that's. You know, you, you fuck yourself up with that. Once again, I I I kind of think, in some ways, though, this idea was not one of the best ones ever. No. Okay, because that's also not something you can wear. While operating a fucking motor vehicle. Exactly. Because you do not have peripheral vision in that fucking thing. The only thing you see is the side of the fucking goddamn helmet. Exactly. Exactly. If I really wanted to torture somebody, I open the fucking little patch in the back there, that filter spot. I put my bare ass on it. That is and it's so How did I not I, know? And fucking, oh my God, I could destroy people. Yes, yo, I'm thinking the same thing too. Just fart right in that shit. Ha! Take that, bitch. Ha! You really want to fuck somebody up? You can't do put that. A, the only reason why is like I, I, I tortured with getting farted on. First off, no you'd way. never even see me coming. Wait, or wait, arriving. Wait, or wait, showing wait. up. <laughs> or appearing. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold what on. do you do? Drop zombie shits? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! You thought about you are sitting, he, if you're sitting waiting the for the bus, the I can easily pop that filter out, drop a deuce in there, close that fucking thing up, and run. Well, try and run. Welcome to my life. This fucking, I hate those things. I'm I don't know, you. man. I don't know, man. Because the part, the part you said about you ain't gonna see you coming, and that'd be kind of scary, man. Like. With that mask, we'd be like, hagalaga, hagalaga, hagalaga. <laughs> my, my, my last point to this thing is, is if you're wearing this thing in the rain, there's no windshield wiper. Oh, no, no, no. You're oh, shit. You're fucked. Didn't even think about that. If, you, if it's snowing, you may have a chance, but with rain, I, know. I doubt it. And then the top of the two fogging the shit up, that's going to be bad. Yeah, in the humidity areas, dude, that shit would just be liquid. Oh, no, no, no. That's supposed to be fog free. Fog free. Well, guess what? They'll be dehydrated also because wearing that shit is going to dehydrate them. Well, there's no way to fucking get a straw or a drink in there. Exactly. It's like, so, okay, like okay. What the, what's the fucking point of it? Okay. You know what that reminds me of? All right. Um, Like, in martial arts, like, you know, they have like the, like the, the massive, like that with the glass in it. I wore that shit before. That shit will fucking tire you the fuck out. I'm telling you. And then wearing that shit now? Hell no. I wouldn't do that shit. It's just so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now when we're done with some black guy anger. Oh my god! <laughs> well, Should I um hold it? Don't don't that. worry about it, Rami. The, the the conversation is coming. We got to get through some articles first. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's a uh, black Puerto Rican anger. Puerto Rican anger. <laughs> it's mutt anger. No, no, it's Puerto Rican anger. Do you want me to read this? Yeah, I'm gonna have you read this, but uh, I. I only because it's Halloween, and we actually did see this costume in the store. Yesterday. Yes, yes, <laughs> it has to be done early. I'm sorry. You just tell me when to go. All right, I'm putting up it on the screen now. Okay. So it this says, "Maid of it. Honor, 
was told she could wear anything. So she wore a giant T-Rex costume. Listen, I love her. Okay? It says, to be fair, she was told she could wear anything she wanted to, and she did. It said when a bride told her sister, who was also a maid of honor, that she could wear whatever she wanted, she decided to get creative. The 38-year-old Christina Meter opted for a rather unconventional attire, which I love it. Which was a giant inflatable T-Rex costume. And soon enough, the wedding was talk of the town. It says Meter, who's from Texas, shared an image of her dino suit from the wedding ceremony in August 2019. And needless to say, it went viral. The hilarious snap has over 40,000 shares and nearly 4,000 likes. Evidently, people were a huge fan of the joke she pulled off. The image was then shared on Reddit and the post garnered further attention. She captured her post writing when you're a maid of honor and told to wear anything you choose. (laughs) I regret nothing. Listen, let me tell you something, man. It says, no. well, oh, wait, wait. It says, while a lot of people found her costume to be absolutely hilarious, others also tagged their friends saying they would pull the same prank at their wedding. Yeah, listen, <laughs> listen. Hey, listen, hey. listen, if that was my wedding, real talk, and, and, and the best man had to wear something, listen, if you wore that shit, we will be taking pictures and bugging the fuck out. Yo, that is fucking cool. <laughs> that is cool, man, for real. Yo, she said hey, about a year, she said about a year ago, my big sister texted me asking if I would be her maid of honor. She, knowing that I'm not a big fan of wearing formal dresses, said that I probably wouldn't have a lot of money to buy something really nice, and reassured me by letting me know that I could pick out any outfit I chose. I she said her. I was trying to think of something that I would be willing to wear more than once, and I thought to myself, "Well, she did say anything, and if I'm I spending more than fifty bucks, I wanted to be a dinosaur costume because they're fantastic, and I've always wanted one." She said I sent her a text so that she could have a laugh, and surprisingly enough, she was okay with it. She said as the wedding date came closer, her mind wandered as to why she was confused between some equally ridiculous costumes. She thought about the TARDIS from Doctor Who, but the co- the dinosaur costume stuck with her. I love it, man. Your sister says she's so going to wear a T Rex suit on her bachelorette party. I know. But you know what I say about that? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Pain Chain Pipe Bomb, where we get T Rexes at weddings and we have people wearing bubble suits with masks that are like that. Fuckers. <laughs> I think this would be funny. The funny oh, thing, yeah, yo, like if yo. somebody did this at my wedding, I don't think I would be angry. When are you going to get married? That's not my decision. Ricky, can I wear anything to your guys' wedding? <laughs> no. I'm going to wear this. I'm going to come to your wedding wearing this. Yeah, but you can't see ninja. anything. I'll, go well, I'll get different. I'll get different one of these because right now I look like I'm in a hot box. That's what it looks like. No. It looks like smoky. Let me tell you, we were walking like through the store yesterday, right? Oh my god. I remembered this article being posted and I was like, man, maybe we should get inflatable fucking Wait a costumes. minute. What was the one I wanted you to wear? The balloon animal. The balloon animal. They have an inflatable balloon dog. You know like balloons that you tie at a birthday party? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They have one of those costumes like this. But you uh, get in a giant balloon dog. So I, I was like, this would be awesome. He's like, I couldn't sit during the show. I was like, come on, Imagine turn it off. me standing up with this big ass fucking balloon dog right behind me. Like, and I'd be like, okay, I gotta type something in. Move your fucking arm, balloon animal. Yeah. Type shit in. Not, not a real talk happen. though, like that that T-Rex costume at the wedding. Yo, excuse me. That is awesome. That yo, I would have so much fun, man, for real. Okay, I would I would, so I would actually see it as we should just have like a whole Jurassic Park wedding. Hell yeah! And everybody wearing the inflatables. Yeah. Imagine what? that wedding picture. No, you know what I really no, like? How about you guys have a WWE uh, e, a wrestling no, wedding not. and everyone comes as wrestlers? Let's not. Thank you <laughs> no, very much. I don't look good in the I draw the line anymore. at something. That's what I'm drawing the line at. You know what I really like, though? And I've, st- I've said this to Ricky on multiple oh occasions. My God. If something ever happens to me, God forbid... At my funeral, you know what I want? You know those what? you know those blow up things that they have at the gas stations? They're like twenty feet tall and they like go like this. Oh yeah. yeah. Those weird looking things. I told oh, him my. that's what I want. I want them at like funeral? on both sides of me. That's oh, what my I want. God. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want. 
I that's I I feel like I need that. That 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 encompasses me. Like it just it says everything about me. See, really? the problem with Janet's comment is it's just she'd like to dress up as an oompa loompa. Now, I was going to do something similar to that. The problem with it is when you go to do it on the show, the oompa loompa green hair Yes. It disappeared. It was gone. Yeah. All yeah, right. yeah there was yeah. actually a few things that we looked at yesterday that we said we couldn't wear because on the show, because, the show, would, because if we green screened, it would have been gone. Like, for example, I'm it wearing. It was blue, too. What I'm, was the blue thing that we looked uh, at? The face paint. Oh, was the, the face, face paint. The face paint. Um, I'm actually wearing one of the first edition pipe bomb shirts, and you can see through it. It's fucking oh. crazy. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You can see right through it. You can see right through it. So. There was legit no point of saying, hey, I'm going to do something with the green face paint, which I would love to because I'm a huge fan of the way Jeff Hardy does his face paint. He does it all. um, It's all abstract and it's great. But he had a green and purple one. Yep. That was awesome. The only thing you'd see is the purple fucking coloring in the face. My whole paint was gone. It, and, and, and I would have to legit just green screen myself. That should look crazy for real. Um, but like I really wanted to do green face paint, and I'm like, I can't do it because it wouldn't show up on the show. Yeah, we looked at a couple of different, and even the blue, the blue doesn't show up either. Certain blues, certain tones of blue, I but should say. The one face paint that but I was looking look. at, I'm not even joking when I tell you, I really did want to do uh, quite a few different versions of animals paint. And the one paint, I'm telling you, I loved it so much. Heather says your, your, your paint looks nice, BC. Oh, thank you. I can't see all the comments. I'm trying to keep up with it, but Let me see if I can find it's the hard to one. see. I can't yeah. see very well. Thanks, Heather. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Heath. Actually, this is the face paint that I really wanted to do. I wanted to do it with the blue. Yeah. And I really, I mean, in all fairness, the white that's in your mask now, the one on your face, it, it would nice. have just been swapped out with the blue. It looks nice, though. It looks nice. Like, like You actually did a good, nah, Melissa, you did a good job with that. I'm good, good with face like, masks. I know, li- listen, nah, I know that because you did his. Um, She's good. good. She's an artist. Yeah. I'm, I'm, well, if listen, you listen, if listen. you give me a picture of something, I would say 98% of the time I can copy it. Like if if you give me a something to outline or you give me a picture, I can Steve. I could look at it and figure it out. That's the only thing she can see is the pad right now. <laughs> and she's Why can you see how big I write? Yeah. No. <laughs> hey, listen, it, 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 it suits you. You're good. But you know, like the other thing was is that I didn't want to shave either. Like I, it, well, I like the, the the sides come back quick. Yeah. The goatee does not come back quick. It takes fucking forever. So, uh, legit, Animal does have a beard. Yeah. yeah. Animal does have a beard. And I'm like, that's perfect. Yep. It fucking works. I got to teach you some stuff, Rick, about uh, going the beard back. Believe it or not, I Thank actually you, was going to go and do something totally different. And I would have had to have gotten in touch with uh, with Karasu first. Oh, we got a new follower. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, I just said Bitwarn Anwar, I think it said. <laughs> Becky, I told you. I, 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 I don't, I do not fucking go like low key on freaking effects. Nah. I can't even see. Ronnie, what's up? I'm going to get Ronnie some of this green screen stuff for the, uh. Hey, Ronnie. For the smoke show. To my brother. Hi, Ronnie. It's my bro- oh, what's up, brother? I am so gonna do that. Like, I'm gonna get him green screen stuff for the fucking for the for the show. Ronnie likes the screen. Uh, no, but I've been doing his makeup for what the last three years at least. Yeah. Every well, time we didn't do makeup, makeup, we didn't do makeup gonna... last year because no. Halloween wasn't. No, yeah, Halloween wasn't uh, anywhere thing, close. But... Nah. But normally, I've been doing his makeup for him. Actually, I remember the, I remember the first time when um he did the when I saw him did the makeup. You did uh, what you call it? Um, what was the rest of your name again? You, um, you did Rick again. I can't remember his name myself. It was, was Whipper, Whipper Snap or something. I Mikey Mike, Whiplash. Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, Mikey, Mikey yeah. Whiplash. That was nice. Yep. That was fucking. Nice. I went as a ninja. <laughs> yeah. And then we had Jason. And then we had somebody dressed up as Jason. And all yep. you see was this. All you see was shoulders. <laughs> yeah, his head did not move at all. Yeah, for wow. right. He said like this. 
<laughs> he did that the whole time just like that. It was funny as that. And all I did was play with his ear the whole time. <laughs> You flicked the fucking ear. Because he had that weird fake ear. And I'm sitting, and all I wanted to do the whole show, I was like, just flick his ear. Flick his ear. Rami, let me tell you, the the um, because we're going to kind of get off a little bit of a topic here, but uh, Finn Balor's makeup uh, was originated in Japan, actually. Not when he got to the to the States. Of course. Because uh, he was the demon, um, uh, what the fuck was his name? Prince, Prince Devitt. Over in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, awesome job, guys. I even shared you in my group, and we normally don't allow shows or live. Thank you, Heather. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thank you. We're fun. He, you should come and visit us more. So, uh, let's get to this uh, this topic. All right. Yeah. It's kind of it's not a Halloween topic. I do expect. Everybody in the chat, including Rami, because he fucking put me on the spot last night. Yes. Um, I I I heard about this. So <laughs> we were watch. We I was doing the gaming last night. Rami pulls in, and he's watching the movie The Italian Job. All right, which is one of my favorite movies. And he turns around in the middle of the the, the stream and says, "Wow, that blonde chick in the movie is fucking hot." He's talking about Charlize Theron, by the way. Yeah. So I'm I'm sitting there, and as I'm playing, I'm 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 doing COD with Murph, and I I just blurt out in the middle of the thing as I'm fucking killing somebody. Man, she got fucking hotter as she got older. Yep. And then She's Murph sends been hot. Murphy She's sends me Murphy sends me this message. He goes, "Dude, what the fuck are you talking about while we're playing the game?" I'm like, Rami brought up Charlize Theron, and I was like, she was Oops. hot back then, Oops. but I'm she's bad. hotter now. Yeah. Like, she is fucking drop-dead fucking hot. And she then actually, well, she's, she's the girl that I'd want besides... Lynn Disney is going to You know, Lynn we talked about that. Hell. Lynn is going to hell right now. Okay? The Italian hand job. <laughs> <laughs> so... I said to I said to him, I'm like, you know, maybe Melissa really don't want me talking about this while I'm doing gaming, but like, the Did only, that never bo- that that stuff doesn't bother me. The funny thing all. is, is I, I turn around and I said to Rami though, that never bothered. me. I was like, she's not the only one that's gotten hotter as she's gotten older. Nope. Cameron Diaz too. Mark Wahlberg looks better now than he did th- back then. Too. Yeah, I think so too. But like, I, I right off the top of my head, I'm like Alyssa Milano got massively hot as she got older. She was yes, hot she from yes, the beginning. Did. And I hate to say it, but Tiffany Amber Thiessen, all right, she was cute when she was on Saved by the Bell, but now that she's a little chunkier, she's even hotter. Mm. It gets like that. I'm telling you, like it's. It was like the weirdest thing, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know what? We're gonna talk about this on the show tomorrow night. You know, also because got hot. I think I'm freaking, I'm freaking fucking Murphy out. You know, also got hot too as as she got older. Lisa, Lisa. I don't know. I haven't seen pictures of her recently. Yo, yo look, Google her, bro. She's oh my god. I would do some things to her in Spanish. <laughs> Ronnie said, "My would you take her home in the Italian job? She's an extra." What happened? Will you take her home? Oh, really? Of course I would. Like, I love that movie. I watched it a, a bazillion and seven times. I know my girl probably watching. I'm like, oops. <laughs> I think that was the first I'm... time I ever thought about getting a Mini Cooper because I love them oh. in the movie. <laughs> oh, my God. My old sister-in-law had one because she was from England. Yeah. And she had one, and it was the tiniest car It ever. is. They're very, very tiny. And, oh, and it was at that point, like, my mom was in a wheelchair, and, like, we couldn't even take my mom nowhere. Because <laughs> it wouldn't fit in that car. It was Damn. so bad. Damn. All right, I'm trying to find a picture for this next article. But you know, you had to fucking have always something freely. Under. That's hard for me, Rami. I don't know who I would pick. I really don't. Well, if you think about it this way, because Janet's asking about Elizabeth Hurley. Um, I I like weird. Oh God! You see, I hate when I say I like weird people. Elizabeth Hurley's still good looking, but I like different types of people, and for different reasons. You know, I got to tell you that new movie that's coming out. Um, 
let him go or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, I think Diane, I think her name is Diane Hill or something like that. She got fucking hot as she got older. Um, I don't know who you're talking with, uh, about. It's with Kevin Costner. They came out with an- another movie. It's supposed to be like a country-based setting. Yeah. Um, Where their grandchild and the daughter are getting tortured by the mother-in-law. Yeah. And like I saw it and I'm like, wow, you know. I mean, they. I mean, she does have gray hair in the movie and everything else, but she looked fucking hot. I, I was like, know. "Damn, dude! Like, what the fuck?" I need to start watching fucking movies more. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Heather has seen the previews of the movie. Let him go. It's with Kevin Costner. It's actually a good-looking fucking movie. I'd watch it, dude. Get and a I'm fucking... not into that country shit, dude. Dude, get a fire stick, man. Get a fucking fire stick. It'd be perfect. Here's my problem. There's only two times my TV goes on. <laughs> when I'm here. <laughs> when she's here and when football is on. Yeah. Bro, those are that's the only pretty much two it. days the TV goes on. Bro, or if I'm having a problem with the PS2 or the, or the PS4 or the Xbox. That's it. Oh, Heather agrees me with me about uh, the, Di- the Diane person. Yeah. She looks fucking hot. Bro, I, um, man. I don't know. Is- Oh, what I, about I, the office? What? Oh, I was, no, go ahead. No, I didn't. I, I know. I'm just saying I couldn't. I don't think I could decide like a celebrity that I want to date because like I have very weird taste. Oh, wait a minute, Melissa. Ta- wait a minute, Melissa. Wait I'm a minute. taking Channing Tatum. Melissa, wait a minute. Wait yes. a minute. Wait a minute. I know one person you will you you will you will date. Who? I know one person and I will name him. Go Jeter. for it. Momoa. Who? Jason Momoa. I would. Okay, so, I would. But yes, yes. That's no, but like I typically and okay. So this is this is where my this is where my weirdness comes in. This is where the wheels fall off of this bus. No, stop. I <laughs> I I happen and oh god, this is going to make me sound so strange. I don't like typically like very fit men. Does that make sense? No, I'm the same way. I don't like. I'm not into like, like washboard stomachs. Like Same. I don't, I don't need to have a really cut person. I tend to go for bigger people, like and not like like I like you like the cushion. I like cushion. broad guys. I like people with bellies. I like real men. Like I, I don't want to have to compete with somebody. I don't want to like it is like it's very nice to look I at, how, but I don't, I don't like I don't happy for Ricky or not. So this is this is how no, I'm being honest. Like I Ricky is not was not he's not big. Like he has a belly now, but he, when I met him, he didn't have a belly, but he was broad. Like he's always been broad. He has big shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Like I like I like that kind of a thing. Like I I like bigger guys. All right, so this is how far I'm going to go for our viewers and listeners. Okay, what? Hey, Rick, hey, Rick. Is that Diane Lane? That this is this is early Diane Lane. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is this from is what, what I do for us. From what the outsiders? I uh, I'm not sure which movies this one is from. Oh, but this man. is this is early Diane Lane. Okay. Ooh, Wait, nice. let me see. Very not nice. early enough. No, but nice. this is this is early. I'd say this is a picture of her in her 30s. Okay. Okay. Oh, Diane no. Lane is beautiful. All right. She's gorgeous. She is. She, she Mrs. This H. Maestro is now following. Cool. All right. So this is this is the thing. Okay. This is Diane Lane now. She is. She's a beautiful woman. She really is. She is. She always fuck, has. I'm been. telling you, she's like Sophia Loren. Okay. Sophia Loren was cute. Back yeah. in the days yes. where it was like um, black and white, yeah. going into like the whole color thing now. She's gorgeous now. I would fucking rip her yeah. fucking from 30 I, ways from fucking Tuesday. She's beautiful. Now, she's a beautiful And woman. she's in her what, like 70s, yeah. 80s? Yep. Like Sophia Loren. There, look, look. She's showing another picture of Diane Lane. When she was younger. Yeah. Okay. But that picture now of her, she's, dude, she's, she's beautiful fucking drop she really dead is. gorgeous. I'm not she's, even going to joke. But- let me tell you, she is definitely that definition of aged like a fine wine because that woman has legitimately almost like no wrinkles. 
No. There's like no like fucking stretch marks on her, nothing. Oh, yeah? Did you... Matter of fact, hey, Rick. All right, wait, so... wait, hey, Rick. hey, Rick. How do you know that? Hey, Rick. You know, matter of fact, you, want, you know what? Type up, look up Pam Greer. You want to talk about somebody with no wrinkles? You want to talk about somebody that looks that looks good for the age? Yeah, but you know what, though? Pam Greer was heavier in her early years. Dude. And she slimmed down I a lot. I would shred her to pieces. But she looks sexy. She yeah. has slimmed yeah. down a lot. Okay, this is like... I'm having problems. There's glitter down my shirt and it's itching. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to find it everywhere. All right, so... Uh, apparently, oh. we've riled up the chat about fucking people that uh, we would want to... Uh, Potentially bang. Bing. This is Pam Greer back seventies, eighties. Okay. She sex. She, I would I would tear her ass up, boy. All right. There's even another picture here that I kinda like her hair better. Because yeah. the straighter Brown. hair on her makes her look fucking yes. hotter. There's, there's something weird about curly nah, hair on certain people. Nah. Now with the afro, she looked even sexier. Yeah, but the, the straight right. hair, she looks extremely seductive. Hmm. Like yeah. porn seductive, you know? You know what I mean? Listen. Whoa. In fact, you want to laugh? Tell, do you remember who I told you I would replace you with? Which wrestler I told you I would replace you yes, with? The Big Show. The Big Show. You, oh, what? Do you know how big Big Show is? That's the kind of <laughs> guy that I love. <laughs> you know that one of my major turnoffs is long hair. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. So maybe I Ricky shouldn't show like, you his ponytail then. That I, I know that that his ponytail. I, it's it's like. You, he, dude can be a 10 and then has long hair and I'm like, Rant. Really? Well, I, is, that never bothered me. Well, I guess it never bothered me. Today I don't know why it bothers me or yesterday. It bothers me so much. I'd still be. I'd she's still beautiful. Be, but, uh, she is. She's a, she's but, a guilt. She's just a guilt. like Just like you, I make one exception for Jason Momoa. Oh my God. He is delicious. I'm He's, sorry. He is delicious. This is how far we go for our viewers and listeners to fucking pull of pictures of fucking uh, actors and actresses on the show. Yeah. Wade Kite's in the house. What's up, Wade? What's up, man? Okay. Do you know... Okay. There's there's two women I would make an exception for if I was a lesbian. Okay? Who? I told told you. First, Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm. She's like my up there person. I don't know who that is. But look up Rosalind Sanchez. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's beautiful. She... Yeah, Rosalind Sanchez is beautiful. If I liked girls, she would be my girl. She'd be your girl. Okay. She would be She would be my girl. What's up, Christopher? Doobie's in the house! Which she... one of these pictures would you like me to put I don't up? know. The second one looks nice. Yeah, that one. I love her. Hey, what's up, Doobie? I love her. We're talking about celebrity crushes. Thanks to Rami watching the Italian job and Shelly's... God, Rami, Rami, do you need to get laid or something? <laughs> Tell him. He'd be like trying to talk about tearing some ass off. He's got a girlfriend, though. I know it's nausea. But uh, wow. I, I, yeah. by the way, for she the... she yeah. is my she is my girl crush, Rosalind Sanchez. By, by the way, oh, yeah, Do- Doobie, I have some special effects for you. I'm pretty sure you like those. I'm letting the bats out of the belfry <laughs> again. What's up, Wade? Fucking put in all these great fucking How are special you, Wade? What's tonight? going on? I haven't seen you in ages. Yeah, Wade, 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 has, yo, yeah Jennifer Aniston. Oh, Wade, yeah. yeah, Jennifer Aniston or Anna Hen- Kendricks. Yep. Yeah, Jennifer Anna Aniston. Kendrick. You know who I'm kind of depressed about that didn't get hot as she got older? Who? Mila Kunis. She never didn't. Are you she doesn't look me? any she's different. Gorgeous. She doesn't look yes, any different. She still know, looks like she's twelve. Exactly. That's the problem. She still looks like she's twelve. Well, she can feed all the. Never mind. And she never really, de- she never really developed. So maybe the genes she's, in her family. She's were hot, to get, bro. I don't know. What he's you beautiful. No, at. she is. She's a beautiful. She's girl. fucking hot. Rami, wait, Rami. I want to ask you a question. I've, go, I've been wanting to ask you this for the longest. What is your nationality? Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece things together with your, your, your features. If you're still in the chat. Were you fucking pulling a, a, a fucking snoop? You oh. were snooping his profile, weren't you? Not a sort of picture. Did we not have enough of that <laughs> on the fucking international podcast thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I do my background checks on everybody. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Everybody. <laughs> I got you. Put, you just see on my face. Okay? What were you? What did I say? Cher. Cher by far looks better than Madonna. Yes, yeah, she does. Um, can I? Madonna is very manufactured. Like, yeah, like, is. I mean, I know 
but Cher just had a better job you, of it. Have you seen her daughter? Her, her daughter Lourdes. Lourdes is perfect. gorgeous. Gorgeous. Lourdes is but gorgeous. But her father, her father's Guy Ritchie, right? I think so. Guy Ritchie is a good looking man. Interesting. But either, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. If I had to pick between Cher and Madonna, I would pick Cher a hundred times yeah, over. Yeah, me too. Dude, she's like in her 70s and she still fucking she's looks She's stunning. Hot. You know who else is like that? It's Tina motherfucking Turner, dude. I will lick she her still leg. got legs for days. And yeah, she's... but with, she's got legs for days, but not the rest of her. Oh shit! <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> you gotta give a shit. Listen, I want the full package. I don't want fucking parcel post. All right. He's I want from the full Egypt. Thing. Rami's from Egypt. Yeah, I know. I, well, he's I, Egyptian. I, I figured he was Arabic. I figured he was some type. I figured that. Lizzo or Kelly Clarkson? Lizzo. Lizzo. I don't know. Some Kelly titties. Clarkson's like a fucking blow up costume. I want some titties. She give fucking gets small. She deflates oh and then God. she inf- inflates. Like she can't make up her fucking mind. I don't know. That's a rough one for me. And to answer that question about Cher or fucking Madonna, neither. I don't want to hear Cher's voice get me hit it from okay. the back. They both have been used. They they both have been used more than the Verrazano Bridge. Stop Damn. it! Damn. What is that? What is that thing? Fuck Mary Kill. So do Cher, Madonna, and Tina Turner, Ricky. <laughs> I, why yeah. would I share her? Who do you, who do you who would it's you marry? Know? Fuck kill. Yeah. Who? Which one? Which yeah. one would you do? For which ones? Share Madonna. Marry, fuck, kill. Share Madonna and and uh, Tina Turner. And Tina okay. Turner. Okay. Oh. Which one would you sleep I'm with? Oh. Ricky. Hold on. I'm asking Ricky. Okay. Oh. okay, okay. No, which I, one, I don't want to do anything with the three of them. Which one would you sleep with? <laughs> oh. Can I, can, can I wear one of those facial masks? Dude, uh, loud. If if your life was dependent on it, actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? I would kill up. Cher right off the bat. You would kill Cher. I would kill Cher. I right would kill Madonna. <laughs> I would kill Cher off the bat. All right. I would kill Madonna. No question. Ditto. Because I, I I I find kind of, I I don't like any of Cher's music to begin with. I think I, I would have to fucking, if if again if I, I like a girl. Cher. I would tear out my eardrums quick enough to fucking not have to worry about listening to Cher. Okay, that's first off. Um, mm. So now you're left with you're left with sleeping with Madonna or Tina Turner. The other one you'd have to marry. Madonna was with Sean Penn, right? The other one you'd have to marry. So just keep that oh, in mind. She was at but one time. If I have time. to marry them, I don't have to fuck them. So it's actually she maybe was also a with, uh, with with Dennis Rodman too. I think, yeah, she's fucking um, Dennis Rodman. Who was, uh, oh, uh, Madonna was with Dennis Rodman, right? Yep. Madonna was with Michael Jackson. Madonna was with everybody. She's no, I don't, I, I don't like Cher. I, I don't like her. I've never liked I, her. I don't know why. He's very strange. I, I, I like, I, oh, I, just, I, I get that. I get that because I don't care for Prince. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, you, you may, have, you may so, have made an enemy. In but the you know what, that. though? Like, I don't like I any just, of the men that, like, women fall all over the place. You don't like, like oh. I don't like I I don't think that um like Mick Jagger like that people think is so fucking sexy. Ew. No. He was fucking David no. Bowie. He's gross. He was fucking no. David Bowie. All right, wait, wait a sec. Hold on. I'm still trying to think about this Cher Madonna thing. And freaking um uh, what's his face from Aerosmith? Okay, David Tyler? No. Somebody, Ew. Where's, where's Enzo when I need him? I need him to definitely find out this information for me. Who has out. bigger tits? Madonna or Tina Turner? Tina Turner. Tina Turner. You don't even have to ask anybody else. I could tell you. Turner. All right. So then I probably would bang Tina Turner. Okay. She could wrap those legs around you. Oh, yeah. She can. <laughs> I would have to bang <laughs> Tina Turner. Because then at least Madonna, I could leave her on the other side of the house and not give a fuck what she does. I'm surprised if I didn't ask Keith on that same question. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the uh, answer. I'm waiting to answer that shit. I know exactly what I want. Oh. I'm Heather Man, Prince was a musical genius. Prince? Heather, I mean, a Prince was a musical genius. Hell he yeah, he was. Hell yeah. Uh, he was, this. there was nothing. There, oh, he was just. He played 27. Lynn, he played 27. Can I just tell you why, Lynn? Just let me tell you why. I had an ex that played him all the fuck 
freaking time. I don't know how many times we got in the car and played When Doves Cry. I just can't. Like doves, like I can't. What's up, Michelle? I can't. This is gonna I'm go sorry, like... Lynn. Are you going to unfriend me on Facebook, by, by, by the way, I'm just letting you guys know, not only did the wheels fall off of this bus, they are miles away. This bus is this you bus is full. This was gonna happen. Run. I I I did this for a reason because we have a lot of people in our chat right now. Okay, and and it's very interactive. The comments fucking list is going fucking legit through the fucking roof. I'm loving that. People are having a good time. Maybe we should dress up every week. Let me tell you, I could do a different animal face paint every week for like 16 weeks. Wait a minute. You could do a different animal face paint? Well, I picked. I, I could pick. How early am I going to have to get here every week? You don't just have to be here actually. Because you ain't party. making dinner at home anymore, Melissa. Well, I had sloppy joes for dinner, so it was Oh, my good. God. Oh, you had sloppy joes last week. Oh, you son of a bitch. You had sloppy joes. Yeah, I had sloppy. No, I actually I sloppy made sloppy. Joe's sloppy Joe's no, wait, it wasn't last week. You had sloppy. It was two Joe's. weeks ago. I had sloppy Joe's. Two weeks ago with sloppy Joe's. Oh, oh come on! Don't blow my flames out. I didn't have. I don't. I didn't eat anything today. What did I have today? I didn't even make dinner before I left. I took my best friend out for breakfast this morning. I had coffee today. I had breakfast earlier. I, I am drinking coffee. toasted coconut water again. Nice. I'm drinking Monster. I don't think wait, animals wait. ever drank toasted coconut water before. But fuck. Tiffany Thiessen versus Jenny Garth. <laughs> Tiffany Thiessen. is way prettier than Jenny Garth. Jenny I Garth got Jenny fucking Garth like... Jenny Garth is a little annoying. Fat. She got fat. I don't think it's even about the fatness. I think she's just a little irritating. Like, she's too wishy-washy for okay. me. Okay. I know. Holly Barry or Beyonce? Who? Holly Barry or Beyonce? I'm thinking Ooh. Holly Berry. Yeah, I Beyonce could drive off a cliff. Oh damn, Heather, you don't want to be my friend either. She, by the way, I don't know if she read in the comments earlier. She says she's tired. She does. She's never been called Heather in a stream, so you might have to try to fix that. You may get an unfriending from that. <laughs> oh no! Why? What do you want to be called? Eat, eat, eat. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <coughs> I call you what your name comes up as. <coughs> Uh, Rami is saying Shakira. Oh, oh yes. Shakira. Oh, okay. She, she's, yeah, she's cute. <laughs> she's cute. Uh, she's she Columbia. is cute. She's a little yeah. thing. And her accent? I know. I put it okay. Up. Are you ready for your All right. kill Mary? Ti- time out. Time out. <laughs> time out. Time out. I got another one of those fucking text messages like yesterday. What? Yesterday, we are in the fucking store, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? And I get a text message. I deleted yesterday's, but... Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so apparently they are sending out text messages about the election. Yesterday, my name was Christine. Okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was Mind gone. you, if I call from my phone, caller ID, it has my name on it, yes. right? So it... I got the text message. It says, hi, Christine. My name is Billy. (laughs) Now, I got a new one. Karasu, you're going to love this one. I've officially changed nationalities. (laughs) Hi, Tawanda. (laughs) I'm Sharon. (laughs) Oh, my God. Tawanda. Tawanda. (laughs) Tawanda. Tawanda. Wow. I know I'm wearing face mask. And some people could be like tribal with the paint and whatever. But Tawanda? Jesus. Where did that come from? Jesus Christ. White guy ain't no but Tawanda Anger. <laughs> Tawanda Anger. Like I don't understand. Where 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 are these fucking stupid people from? Oh my god. Christine, Tawanda. Hi, my name is Billy. Fucking bullshit, let me tell you. Tawan. Oh, oh, where did this come from? You seem a little How do people not know the proper name into the phone book, you fucking assholes? White guy. White guy, you, you, you White see, guy animal anger tonight. You, you seem a little slightly irritated. Is that bothering you today? Um, wait, the other phone has my has my name listed as wait, hold on. Uh, because I got another text message there that came up. Uh I'm a broken doll. 
Michelle Wentzman. Let me, let me see. I know it's a little oh, hard to tell because it's the far other, away. The other phone name is Emmanuel. Oh, Emmanuel. But Emmanuel's been going on for a long time. Yes. Um, whoever whoever your um, previous number was given to was named Emmanuel. And they've been texting Ricky for probably, what, five years? About church, usually. It's usually a church. Maybe your ass needs to go to church. Um, our our church group is meeting on Tuesday, or our prayer group is meeting on Tuesday, or whatever. He's gotten a ton of Emmanuel messages. I, I, I am getting Emmanuel pissed. might be just the church. I hate to say it, but this is fucking like it is fucking pissing me off with about the the election bullshit because they really are like fucking text messages, emails, phone calls, like they're fucking yucking this whole fucking thing up. And not everybody's going to polls. They're doing the fucking, like, pre-vote whatever thing. Leave me the fuck alone! I don't want to be texted. Ricky's a wrestler. I'm Road Warrior Animal. Old school Road Warrior Animal. And fuck Caitlyn Jenner. Ew. What a twat. No thanks. I'd fuck Lady Gaga. She's a fucking twat now. Lady Gaga's pretty. She just wears weird outfits. She would be great if she didn't do the outfit shit. Lady Gaga got a fat ass, okay? After seeing her in, um, in what you call it, in um, American Horror Story in the hotel, man, I will spread her cheeks. Love. Thank you, Ronnie. I appreciate it. Raphael Baraz is in here. That's my friend. My friend, my friend, you okay, baby? Oh, my God. And fucking, you know, it, may, it may be time for Throw Mama from the Train this weekend. <laughs> yeah, fin, hey, Michelle. Oh, Gwen Stefani. Uh, no, no. Fucking Gwen Stefani. Nah, Gwen Stefani. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, Gwen Stefani. Uh, nah, all right, enough of this fucking... I, I can't talk about the women thing anymore. I don't, What's I don't up, bro? It, that, to me, it's lost its shine. <laughs> Can you get this article up? Um, Which one? This one. Yeah, give me a minute. Hold on. Raphael doesn't have a picture on my on the on the screen. I hope it comes up on the feed. Hold on. Hold oh. On. Oh, by the way, uh, there was also a uh new piece of merchandise released on Friday last week. It's actually almost a week old. It has not made the pipe bomb page as of yet. Uh but it is available. I will probably Put that link in there too. Uh, Karasu's has already seen it. Melissa's already seen it. The uh, okay. Zero Fucks jersey is now available. Uh, it is available. Hey, Susie. Uh, from sizes extra small to 4X. Yep. And uh, this shirt actually came to me in a dream. <laughs> You, huh? Like literally. <laughs> this is the deal. Last Friday morning, I like knocked on your door and said, "Hey, I'm here. Write this down." Last Friday morning, I decided I was going to bed. It was like two thirty in the morning. That's very rare for me. That's where you know this is a lie. All right. So <laughs> no, I am, it was not actually. No, he wasn't bed. <laughs> I turned everything off. I got home. I'm like, all right, fuck this. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I turned everything off. <clears throat> and. I lay there and lay there and lay there, and I'm like, you know what? Not happening. I go outside, smoke a cigarette, come back in, turn the computer back on, and I am busting this baby out. It was inspired from a Kid Rock t-shirt from 2002, but I made our version of it, and it is the Pipe Bomb zero Zero Fucks Given shirt. Made out of the dungeon in Brooklyn, fully loaded, whole nine yards. Um, anybody who wants to purchase it, I will put the link in the description, or you can message the uh, page Robbie, and then we'll put uh, it there. Robbie Jordan Sparks, I would, I, I love Jordan Sparks. I think she's, she's very attractive. She's an Arizonan. Lisa Keys is, good, is, is cute too. But, That's what uh, they call you guys, an Arizonan. Is that an Arizonian? <laughs> Arizonan. <laughs> Wait, do you remember when we did this? What do you call people from different states? Yeah. We did this. There was one that was strange. What's up, Faye? 
Oh, you know, next week is the anniversary of us going What's to up, Phoenix. I know. What? Two years yes. ago, we were in Phoenix. Three years ago, we were in Phoenix. Two years. Yep. Well, Michelle asked Two a long ago time ago, and I was, I was trying years. not to interrupt it's been a while. Asked what my costume was. It's like just it. it's a sugar skull, but I glitzed and glammed it up a little bit. I love it. She may have glitzed and glammed it up too much because she can't stand it. I know I got glitter in my fucking tip. You know, you know something with Harley Quinn? Everybody wanted to be fucking Harley Quinn one year. I that did, Michelle. Got, that shit got annoying as fuck, man. Everybody wanted to be Harley <laughs> Quinn. Like, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, Harley Quinn is not the greatest thing in the fucking world. By Jesus way, Christ. Fiore's got a bad headache, but she could have it worse. She could have a bad ass ache. Pretty much. Dang, Fior. Oh, I think Steven wanted to do it. Oh! I see you go back and forth, you and little Steven there. By, by the way, Facebook replied to my nasty message from early. No, what is that? I don't want to talk about it now. Oh, oh, oh I can't wait to All see right, that let's one. do this article, though, because All right. we only have uh, 28 minutes left. Okay. Yep. All there right. it is. You tell me. Go for oh, it. Oh, shit. It says human skull on mantelpiece identified as man missing for eight years. Holy shit. It says a human skull, which has been sitting on somebody's mantle in Tennessee for a year, has been identified as a man who went missing eight years ago. District wow. Attorney General Russell Johnson revealed in a Facebook post how the remains belong to an individual named Junior Willie McCann, who was reported missing September 2012. DNA testing proved that the skull on the identif- unidentified person's mantle did, in fact, belong to a local man who was seen alive almost a decade ago. The body part was on the shelf wearing sunglasses before the McCabe discovery was made. Can by you imagine if you think that's a fucking Halloween prop? That's I know. Crazy. And it's a fucking real skull. It that's says crazy. it is so, so far. I Goodwill. It looks so real, bro. That's it crazy. says it is so far unknown if the man who had the skull knew it was a real one. The man at the residence claimed he had found the body part. The skull was found in March 2019 in the Gobi area of Morgan County in Tennessee. And Morgan County Sheriff's Office took the remains to a lab to have it tested against DNA samples of McCann's family. Tests were carried out by the Knox County Regional Forensic Center and the University of Tennessee's Anthropology Department, both which determined the skull was a genetic match to McCann's family. It says speculation and rumor has been that Junior Willie McCann was possibly killed by a family member who is now deceased as well. Wow. Um, it says he explained that an extensive exploration was made in the area when the skull was first discovered. Um, and the area where the skull had been found to the man where he found it. And it says, however, additional remains yielded no results. And then it's a whole big thing. Like if you know anything about his death, call the number. But could you imagine going out and, like, looking through this place and going, hey, I found a skull. Let me take it home and put sunglasses on it. Um, that would is, you, would that you is, say, that would that be your first thought? Because that, is, be my no? that is a normality for some people who think Holly, Halloween is 24-7 and their house legit does look fucking... Yeah, but bastardized but, by fucking. But if you're in the middle there. of nowhere, right, and find a skull in the middle of nowhere, do you pick it up and go, "Fuck, this would look great on my on my mantle"? Let me take Hell it home no. and put sunglasses on it. No. Or would no. you go, "Fuck, this is a dead person. Let me call someone." I wouldn't even fuck. It. I, I would. I would walk by it, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. That's all I would do. No, you could bring bad juju to your house like that. Once exactly. again, How that not? people are that uh-huh. fucking demonic. Or they are uh, in that oh, religion, so to speak. Yeah, I would That I do that not. shit. Who yeah. legit do leave fucking human remains everywhere. That's, 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 that's um, Satanism. Good night, Fior. Good night, Fior. Feel yeah, better. But Fior, I just, have a good night. I, I, Hope I your just feels better. I just don't get that. And then when they're like, oh, well, it's unknown if he thought it was a real human or not. If you find it in the no. middle of fucking nowhere, of course it's a human. I mean, d- Where did exactly. it come from? It's not like he found it at Goodwill or something. But it that's was what I'm some... saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Well, what, 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 you find a skull at Goodwill? Fake one. Halloween, Halloween uh, said... A fake one. You would not find a fucking... First off, that wouldn't even fucking make the shelf. Because the people who unpack all the crap 
in the fucking back room. You're like, oh, a human skull. Let's call 911. It wouldn't make the fucking shelves. You wouldn't I, find it. There's a lot of people in this world, bro. You wouldn't find I, it at the I, Salvation I, Army I, either. And it was all cool. But what? he had it on his mantle for a year. But Rick, you a know year you with though? sunglasses on. But you know what you will find, though, Rick? You know what you will find? The horse with one ear on the phone. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> It's sad enough to say that they still fucking put, believe it or not, I'm, I'm sure it's not here, but there was rumors of it in Pennsylvania. They would actually be selling women's fucking toys at fucking Salvation Army. Imagine picking oh. up one of those and fucking... Uh, somebody's uh, here. Somebody's used fucking and three and a half ass dildo. Oh, man. There's certain things you cannot sell at Goodwill. How do you so, label that? I don't think any panties or chons benones should ever no. go to Goodwill. Me neither. I'm sorry. If you're done with your underwear, toss those motherfuckers in the trash. That's what you're supposed to do. Nobody yeah, exactly. wants to wear your drawers. Exactly. That's the sc- oh. But then again, you got some days that are desperate to do some shit like that. That will wear somebody else's drawers. I, like, you don't buy a toothbrush at Goodwill neither. <laughs> hey, oh, no. But you know what? I feel the same way about bathing suits. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. chooch still yeah. touches it. Yeah. 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 I, I, agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Because that's like uh, on your cooter. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, well, well actually, or we, lingerie. We, 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 Rick and I don't have a cooter, but you know, you know, we, uh, you know, we don't like wearing swim trunks of other guys. That's kind of, you know, <laughs> ill. I, first off, why am I wearing swimming trunks if I don't swim? Wait, 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 wait. You don't know you how to swim? Fiora oh, said some people are crazy and they collect human body parts and some eat it. Listen, the only there's only two reasons why I go in the pool. A, to cool off, or B, to exercise. That's it. I don't swim. I am like a fucking rock. To swim. Straight to the wait, 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 bro. You don't, you don't know how to swim? No. no. You don't, you're the first white guy I've ever heard say that. Holy shit. He's not, he's not. No, he's not the first. He's not the first, but no, 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 he no, no. actually, no, but he does not, but you don't, but you don't even really like water on your face. No. Oh. Like he doesn't like his face to go under the water at all. Really? Wow. I didn't know that, bro. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I freak shit. the fuck out. That's why I like a lot of water rides. If I'm on that fucking, uh, if I'm on like the, uh, the donut oh, or the, the fucking flume or whatever, yeah, like, I'm fucking yeah. going like this the whole entire time. Like, I, I don't like that. He wow. doesn't like it on his face. Bro, I never do that about you. I, I, I shoot you not, like, not, not trying to sound funny, but... Sean no, can't no, swim either. Piss you off. No, you see, Janet said Sean can't swim either. <laughs> see me? Okay, see me? I can swim, but just that I don't like going to the deep part of the pool. Oh, I'm a fish. I, me, oh, me I mean, too. Like, I'm a such a fish. Have a good night, Michelle. Thanks, night, Michelle, Michelle, for coming. Night, Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. Have a good night. I'm the kind of person that says, I'm not wrinkled enough to get out. That's yeah, that, me. that's me. Mm-hmm. That's me. I, um, I'm like, there's not even wrinkles on these fingers yet. You know uh-huh. what it is? I live, I live right near the water. So when I was I'm a kid, my house. parents were like, you need to learn how to swim because we used to jump off the dock all the time. Right. So we didn't have like, Fjord, Fjord they, we didn't have a choice. Her poor name. Talisha. The back. Jiggling Mermaid? Yeah. Really? Fiora's new porn really? name is The Jiggling Mermaid. The Jiggling Mermaid. <laughs> the Jiggling Mermaid. That's I love, like, I, no, I do. I love, I love to swim. <laughs> I love the water. Me I love too. everything about it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I like swimming. I like, I like going under the water. I mean, I, I would the actually jig- do that. You know, it's just, I'm not really a, I'm not really a deep water swimmer, but I'm going to try to kick that fear going in deep water and try to just... Just go out. Just go out. Like that. I'm also, was in here. But Steven, I'm I got it. We, we're not going to use it tonight. We'll use it next week. But uh, what you call it? I'm mostly an underwater swimmer. I oh, swimming overhead. I, I'm, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to teach myself how to do that. What the fuck was that? You must be watching. Oh, football. Oh, I'm, a, I'm like, what the it's hell? Atlanta, Carolina on uh, <laughs> Thursday Night Football, by the way. Oh, I didn't even check my team. I got scared started. just now. <laughs> oh. I have nobody on either team, so I'm kind of good. I didn't check my team before we started my team's full of fucking lost five in a the row the jiggly mermaid i Anthony. am so itchy anthony's here Mr. i am Bullock. so oh, itchy. Finally, after YouTube. Sending, finally after weeks of sending messages to him he don't okay, fucking i don't have anybody he's not on facebook he's been doing everything off of youtube he's a, he's a he master. watches everything on youtube janet you're not the only one the only person that swims in a pool yeah, yeah, me too. I don't like beach water. I, uh, to me, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't, I don't you mind. Drowned in the ocean. Yeah, I like. Uh, don't get me wrong. I will go in the ocean. I'd rather sit there and build a sandcastle. I, 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 yeah, I'm not really a big fan of swimming in beach water because I'm, I'm afraid of two things: 
Sharks um, and jellyfish and whatever's in that water. I, I don't I don't fuck with that. Yeah. I want some shit in there. We don't even fucking know. Exactly. I like going to the beach. I do. L- listen, I listen. I do. I, in fact, Melissa, that's my thing. We're gonna go. You told me you take me to that private beach. I told you I would take you. I'm Hell gonna yeah, go. I'll take you. Go. I'm gonna go up there. You. It's pretty. You I love that beach. It's very so quiet. I know. It looked like the perfect beach. You could probably do. Certain, never mind. <laughs> yep. Rami, yep. Be, Rami <laughs> behave. <laughs> Rami behave. <laughs> Rami, we got, we, we got the feminine conversation out of the way, brother. Rami, all you're doing right now is feeding Fior's ego. That's all you're doing right now. Yeah, it's you're gone from like, it's it, it's you're gone, both, from, you're you're gone from a quarter right inch to half an inch. Exactly. <laughs> Where did you almost get bitten by a shark, Janet? Probably out on the island, because they're like that. Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> I almost drowned in the ocean. Yeah, no, I, I only one I time it. I used to ride the wave back in, like, you know, when you dive into the wave and the wave takes you all the way back to the shore. Mm-hmm. I did that one time and I hit my nose on the, the sand on the bottom and I took all the freaking Ooh. skin off my nose. That Ooh. happened only once. Damn, That's the uh, only injury I think I've ever had, in, like I've ever had in the ocean. She ever. said in Florida, Rick. What's the matter? She said, she said it, I'm in Florida. She oh, and, well, shark. yeah. Well, I, I never went to the beach oh, when Florida. I went, was living in Florida. Yeah. Florida's got a lot of sharks. I'm not really, uh, you know. Yeah, I'm drowned though. boogie boarding. I hate to say it. A lot of people Never think that, that the beaches again. in Florida are like all that. They're not. Yeah, they're, they're not. not. They're, they're not. not like they're all not. that. But it's, I know. I'll tell you this. I've been to beaches on both coasts, and I thought Florida's beach was way prettier than the California, except for La Jolla. La Jolla is gorgeous. I've never I've been, been to, to, I've never been to, to the beach. In, I've been to California, but I've never been to the beach in California. Me neither. By the way, I've been Rami, to the desert of California. By dirty, the way, Rami, my dirty. ass is smart too. It speaks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? I missed that. Hey, he he said he's being a smart ass. I'm like, my ass is smart too. It speaks. Really, Janet? Well, I'd like, rather be a smart a ass than a ass. Yo, that's crazy. Damn Which it. beach, Red? The beach by me? Has, Wait, has Janet, Wait, Janet how so did you almost quiet. get bit by the Great White? Like, what happened? Like, how did it happen? Were you in the water? Hawaii's beach was the best I've ever been to so far. I, well, I could imagine. I could imagine. Probably. How, it's probably stunning. I don't last know, time been man. To, last time I've been to the beach this year was in Jersey when I went to um the, the Hall of Fame thing. Like, the next day, my girl and I went to the beach. It's pretty cool. It's he pretty says cool. she's been to Myrtle Beach and Virginia. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I live so close to the water. Like, literally, I could throw a rock. And you throw a rock. Oh. And, uh. Yo, that's crazy, Janet. That is crazy. It was just, I don't know. I, I love, I don't know. I love it. I love being by the water. Although, wow. although I'll just, I'll just make this a very small point of today. Eight years ago today was Hurricane Sandy. And Whoa. living by the water um, was not a fortunate thing for me because I lost my house. And oh, um, so that was when I moved in with Ricky when I was homeless. <laughs> um, we were only dating like a very short time. And then I lost my house and I moved in with my child and whatever was left of my house and came to Ricky's and said, hey, I'm here. And oh, um, yeah, but no, today, today is the eight year anniversary of Hurricane Sandy. So um, it was it was the only time I was not fortunate for living near the water. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate that. <laughs> Rick, your why? Why? Why is she saying these things? I, I don't know, know but she's telling you. Maybe she wants you to see it. Exactly. I don't want to throw up in my mouth anymore. <laughs> we do have very nice I've, beaches. I've, I've, I've known her way too long. I just don't need to throw up in my mouth anymore. If I do it, I'm going to really spew this time. Nick said you're looking way nicer today. It must be the makeup. Yes. I did his makeup. You'd be proud of me, Nick. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's, it's been wow. eight that years. Means the, that means the construction video is coming up soon. Yes. I should have the construction video by tomorrow. Yeah, where I almost tear half the wall off and my I'm drop it on my head. If I sent you the picture, would you show it? Which picture? The picture of when the water came over the wall. Nah, yeah, we could show it. Okay, hold on. I'll get it off my thing. Water the fact that that wall. fucking really just actually does go through the screen. I um... I think sharks freak everybody out here. 
course. After, after, after seeing Jaws, I mean, come on. Like, who the, who the hell? <laughs> we watched Jaws on the beach one night. Dun, 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 they used dun. to show the uh, movie. Can we, not, can we not talk about that night, please? Because <laughs> there was way too many things going on that night. <laughs> that was the night that I officially got fucking hurt. No, it wasn't. Oh, yes, it was. Yeah, that, it that was. night was the night I got hurt. Uh, it was. Working at, at the uh, the store. Damn. And me finding out that one spot, me like, ow, that hurts. Like, that. I'd never seen that part in the movie Jaws ever. <laughs> because the fucking... <laughs> I, I don't know, man. By the way, Nick did make us three tracks, right? Yeah. And I had to send one of them back to him. Uh, to redo. Okay. Uh, because there was like a little bit of like a weird discrepancy, like background noise or whatever. Uh, but Nick's tracks are actually one of them was used on the gaming outro, which I'll be showing everybody soon. Well, you know, Janet, like uh, again I, today, I woke up and it's like you cool. said, Sean predicted Sandy. Today I woke up and I got to be very honest with you. Today was very reminiscent of Sandy, of the year of Sandy, because there was also a full moon. It was also high tide. The same sort of storm is coming up the coast. Um, it wasn't a mixture of all three like it was, but um, it was it was a hell of a night. It was a, it was a hell of a night. Like I Shit. I had five and a half feet of seawater in my house. Shit, I it couldn't was, go to work at all. It was crazy. Like I, could, I don't even know. Crazy. Shit, I couldn't I go to work at all. Everything was I flooded. I put the like, picture. I put the picture up. You you can see if it's flooded. see if it's was there. Flooded, man. That shit was crazy. That that year was. Oh my god. No Halloween. Nothing like that. I couldn't go nowhere. I remember I was being invited to a Halloween party. I couldn't go to that shit because Hurricane Sandy was passing. Now nah, I'm good. <laughs> see, I'm like, all right, so. So Ricky will, will put the picture up, but this is how close I, I mean, I live probably another 50 feet, like past that water. And, um, as you can see Damn. how high the boat is Damn. to where that seawall is, like you see the water that's, that's coming through. Yeah. So I don't, I mean, I don't know if you guys know how, how high high tide gets, this was three hours before high tide hit. High tide. Jeez. So if you can imagine that water's coming over the wall three hours before high tide even happened, this came up another seven feet. Damn. So all of that was That's gone. Crazy. Like That's all crazy. of that was gone. That's my neighbor's house. The oh one that God. lives right off the water. So I went down and I took this picture of the water coming over the wall. And within, I, within 15 minutes... That water was knee high. Jesus Christ. When we left. Crazy. It was insanity. It was insanity. Wow. It really was. I, I know that, that, was, that was scary. I I go lie. I probably will freak out or try to contain myself with that because that's, that's, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, but that's today. That was, that's today. It's eight years ago today. Same thing with Becky. She just lost her house in the fire, with the fire. The California fires. She oh, lost man. everything. Some of her pets as well. She went back and she was able to get a few things, right, Becky? Yo, that hurricane, I'm telling you, man, that, that hurricane it's horrible. Off, man. As a matter of fact, trees, in, the strongest trees in my area would knock the fuck down. Nothing was, the other one's going in and out, man. No, there was no so, fire. The trains are so flooded. The fucking subways are flooded. That shit, yo, yo, half them subways, man, you had to slip, you needed a boat to get through them shits, man. So all you, that's all how you they knew. took people out of my neighborhood in boats. The yeah. uh, fire, the fire department came back with their little tiny boats and just went through people's houses Damn. and just took people on little tiny motorboats. And that's how they took them out. Yeah, Be Becky, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm so sorry, man. That's crazy. Just so you guys know, y'all come to Arizona. We don't get hurricanes. We don't get tornadoes. We don't get mudslides. We don't get. All that shit. No, but you, you get, get a little fucking heat. No, but you get good sandstorms. You get sandstorms. Sand sand Those are well, they're boobs, but they're, they're not all the time. <laughs> you get maybe one or two a year. Listen, if I wanted to look maybe like three. the rock from the fucking Scorpion King, I'd fucking come to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely check it out. 1,000%. I will definitely fucking take another trip. Although I heard that uh, I might be taking a trip to... Uh, Vancouver soon, which would be awesome. That's crazy. Yes. To where, Vancouver? To Vancouver. 
<laughs> You're going because, to Vancouver? Uh, I'm I going to go. make I'm going to make an announcement. We're still working on the artwork for it. So for the how many people are watching right now? 19 people watching right now. Where are you at, Nick? Um December 5th live from Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Airing on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope, and PainTrainPipeBomb.com, and maybe Spreaker. We're not sure yet. We are airing a Christmas special from Robots and Gods, Saturday, December 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Nice. Live concert yep. from Vancouver. Very, very excited. And the uh, one of the other great things is is that uh, Tyson, who's the keyboard player mm-hmm. for the hey, band, maybe Ronnie can meet you. I uh, he also may have me and Melissa and whoever else who can go. Uh, go to the grand opening of a gin bar. Okay, out in Vancouver, and we would be doing a live show from the bar. So that's coming up. Uh, nice, but I can't wait for that itself. Uh, we may also, uh, Tyson said he would give us the, uh, the keys probably, and we could take the three hour drive to Seattle from here, from there. Uh, so look, I could cover look, look Seattle. At look at I, could, like, yes. I could cover <laughs> Seattle and fucking Vancouver in the same trip. <laughs> Two places I've wanted to go, Vancouver and Seattle. I can cover them in the both trip, the same trip. Would be awesome. Olympic. So. Yes, definitely December fifth, without question. We we are we, we are, are booked we for are seven booked p.m. For on December fifth. So, um, it will be airing. I'm not sure if it's on this page. It'll probably be on the Pipe Bomb Radio page, uh, but we will be putting the advertisements up, and then whoever shares out this show, if you can, because the other kind of tidbit that I was told, it's being broadcast internationally. Yes. We have viewers in Sweden. We have viewers in the UK. There will be viewers from Japan. Yes. That will be watching the show. They have a lot of things set up. So Nice. Yeah, the December 5th show is going to be insane. It is a Saturday, three weeks before Christmas. But mm-hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that, Nick. Thanks for telling us. I didn't know that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that... that, they're, that that Saturday is going to be a fucking banging. Um, if you never have seen uh, Robots and Gods, if you go to our Facebook page from when they were here and when we did the special with them and when we did their video release for them, all of their music is there. They're also on YouTube. Um, I mean, they're all over. It's Robots and Gods. Definitely check them out because them out. They, they, they have a good. great sound. Very good. They have and a they great are, sound. They and they are, are Great guys. They are, they are very very great friends Thanks, of the show. Um, I, I, I again like I can't wait to hear the new stuff. Yeah, I know because he told me yesterday. He's like, dude, we've got stuff that's like seventy five percent finished. Yeah, and as we speak right now, they are together in studio yep. working on the new tracks for not only the December fifth show. Uh, but I believe December 4th, they may be releasing some of the tracks. So be on the lookout for that on Pipe Bomb Radio for the new releases. Oh. And I'm going to mention this now, and I'll mention it again next week. Revival Reband. Yes. Is releasing another brand new track Mm -hmm. next week on Pipe Bomb Radio's Flashback Friday. So, a lot of new we stuff got a lot coming going out. on. There is a lot of stuff coming up. I can't. I I, I get fucking like so giddy and uh, like you know. <laughs> I'm excited for them. They're a bunch of good kids. Revivalry band. We've had them on too. We've done an interview with them. Three and a half minutes left. Three and a half minutes left. What? Who's who's going to start off the uh, barrage? Me, can't, be me. Huh? me, can't be me. Can't be me. I got to wait. Okay, okay. I don't have a problem going for us. I get it over with and done. Um, <laughs> thank you guys all for coming. Please remember, don't just like the stream. Like the page. Follow us. Comment. Come in. Whatever. Uh, have a nice Halloween. Keep your children safe. 
uh, shout out birthday to my best friend, Sandy. Um, and that's all I have. All right, I'm going to throw one little tidbit in before everybody leaves, okay? Steven proved that it works. Everybody, please put an exclamation point uh, notify in the chat box. Exclamation point and the word notify. Notify. So that way, every time the page does go live, you You will definitely get a notification that it works. There it is in the chat right there. Absolutely. Steven right. just did that. Just everybody, please kindly do that before you get, you go. Um, it, again, it's just another way to get the algorithm working. Just uh, finish out. Thank you, Becky. Just finish out? Just finish out. We only got two minutes left. All right. Uh, tomorrow, 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, Pipe Bomb Radio, Flashback Fridays, Halloween edition. We will be playing every Halloween track we can within two hours tomorrow all right. uh, to bring in Halloween more. If you're cooking dinner, give us a listen. If you're driving home from work, give us a listen. If you're working DoorDash or Uber, give us throw a it listen. on your radio. I have 35 Halloween tracks for tomorrow. 35. That was out of a list of 70. All right? Yeah. I, I legit went down the list to get this all out. But we are celebrating Halloween tomorrow, and apparently I'll have the perfect face for the microphone because you won't see it tomorrow. But I'll be live. Uh, well, you and can make up have... some shit. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably just I'll probably still put pictures up in, later on. So, um, in the meantime, uh, we also have the shirt that's available. If you are interested in getting the shirt, uh, you can message us on the pipe bomb page or any one of the four of us. We will get you the link. To it, because it's available. It's a fucking hot ass shirt. Yeah, it is. I like it. It's That's business. right, Janet. If you haven't sent, give us a listen. Also, business is picking up on that shirt. So yep. get in while you can. Uh, till then, on behalf of everybody here at Ladies, motherfuckers, Pipe Bomb Productions and the Dungeon and the Studio, Happy have a great Halloween. fucking Halloween. Happy Halloween. Deuces. Hey everyone, this is Karasu from Pain Train Pipe Bomb. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did doing it for you. Don't forget to check us out on all of our social media or check us out on Energy Rock Radio, IPMNation.com or MileHighRadio.com. Please make sure to visit the online stores, PainTrainPipeBomb.Villas.com or Shop.Spreadshirt.com forward slash Pain Train Pipe Bomb for quality show merchandise. Thanks. On behalf of Melissa, Ricky, myself, and the Pain Train Pipe Bomb Army, 